ISIS and other extremists claiming responsibility for that slaughter. Let's get the latest from CNN's Phil Black live in Tunis. Phil. Allison, it is the Tunisian security minister who says the two gunmen were members of an existing jihadi cell who traveled across the border into neighboring Libya, where they were trained before recently crossing back to carry out the attack. Now, that particular scenario is a huge concern for Tunisian authorities. Neighboring Libya is increasingly fractured, increasingly lawless. ISIS-affiliated groups have developed a strong foothold there. And the long border between these two countries is almost impossible to secure. Now, ISIS has claimed responsibility in an online audio recording for Wednesday's attack. But crucially, that recording did not contain any evidence or detail suggesting the gunmen were in direct contact, communication, or under the direct control of ISIS's leadership in Syria and Iraq, which has led to the suggestion that this could have been another ISIS franchise, another autonomous group carrying out an attack inspired by the name, the goals, the message of ISIS itself. Meanwhile, behind me, there are crowds in the center of Tunis today marking this country's Independence Day. Always a big deal, usually a celebration. Today, it is hoped that these crowds will be expressing a, a symbolic act of defiance against the people that they believe have attacked this country's economy, political stability, and so therefore its very existence. Alison, back to you. Uh, 